Star Wars Outlaws features four criminal factions for Kay Vess to gain favor with or betray. Aside from accessing their bases and their merchants, the biggest draw to working in uneasy harmony with syndicates is getting their exclusive outfits that provide extra benefits as a set and getting lucrative contracts. That and if you're in extremely poor standing with a syndicate, they'll send a kill squad after you. Here's how to best gain favor with all of them to make life in space a bit easier. The Pike Syndicate, Crimson Dawn, and Hut Cartel are available right from the jump, with the Ashiga Clan coming in a tad bit later in the story. You'll start with the middling, poor reputation when you meet each, and your standing will change from bad to even terrible, or go up to good to excellent. Depending on your actions, your reputation will always be in flux. Some key points in the story deliberately pit you against at least two syndicates, forcing you to take a side. You can start making meaningful strides in your syndicate relationships after you complete the quest False Flag. At this point, you'll start being able to take contract jobs from neutral brokers like Donka, or if you're in good favor, syndicate-specific brokers. Some brokers will reach out to Kay directly and ask her to help them, and all of your contracts can be managed at a cantina terminal, or by meeting the contract broker at any time. The more a specific syndicate likes you, the better the contracts there will be to complete. You'll specifically want to grab smuggler contracts. Not only will you get at least 200 to 500 credits or upgrade parts for completing these, but you can almost always do these without losing reputation with another group. This is rare for contracts and most quests. You can, however, choose to leak the location of the smuggled goods to competitors for double the rewards, but you will lose some points with your employer. There is also the option of spilling the tea and handing over valuable syndicate data to a merchant affiliated with a group that you need help with. While exploring syndicate territory and Imperial areas, you can come across this special loot. The amount of essentially free positive reputation you gain with the Syndicate varies based on the data that you're giving them. This is a fantastic way to gain reputation and is especially helpful if you need a little boost to reach the next reputation level. While those are the two best ways to gain reputation fast with a Syndicate while preserving your status with others, you can of course take on specific Syndicate side quests and complete the randomized events that occur across the galaxy. These events usually revolve around some form of conflict occurring nearby, and you can choose to help out during these events to earn reputation with the faction involved in the conflict. Be warned though, helping one Syndicate in these random events or the bigger side quests may really irritate another. Keeping all four Syndicates happy does not come easy, and it's something you'll constantly need to be aware of as you play through Star Wars Outlaws. Being relatively liked or in near neutral standing by each faction will make your time exploring the world just that much easier. That's our rundown on Syndicates in Star Wars Outlaws. For more on choices and consequences with Syndicates, head on over to our growing wiki pages. And as always, for all things gaming, stick with IGN.